everybody, it's me again. Uh, welcome to another vlog of mine. A lot of you have asked uh, to see all of my Assassin's Creed fan merchandise that I have uh, collected around, and uh, I figured I woke up in a good mood. It's raining. Um, I actually slept in this shirt, so I figured today would be a good day. So I guess I'll start off with the shirt. You guys can probably tell what it is from here. It's an Assassin's Creed 3 shirt. Uh, it says Rajan Hagedun on it, and it has an eagle and two tomahawks, and you can probably see very faintly the symbol, the Assassin's Creed 3 symbol right there. Uh, it's really freaking huge, because you know how ordering clothes online goes. But um, I use it as a sleep shirt because it's soft and comfortable. But when I don't use it as a sleep shirt, I just like tie it in the back like this, and it looks fine to me. So yeah, this is one shirt. And here's another shirt. This is one I actually found through a link on Facebook um, from a site called tfury.com, I think. You can see their hidden blades. Uh, and it's pretty cool, pretty self-explanatory, actually. You can see, you know, the hidden blade mechanism, um, an eye, which is kind of creepy, an anchor. So it's mostly like Black Flag theme. There's the Templar cross. And uh, it's like a key. So you see the key up here? Um, so I just thought it was like a really cool design, because it was hidden blade. And I mean, that's freaking awesome. So I got this shirt. And here's another shirt, uh, pretty self-explanatory, it's an Assassin's Creed Brotherhood shirt. Um, I got the game Assassin's Creed Brotherhood for my 16th birthday, and I almost beat it in one night because it was it was my second favorite in the series behind Assassin's Creed 2 before Black Flag came along, now Brotherhood's my third favorite. The next year, for my 17th birthday, I got this shirt. So that was back, that was after Revelations came out too, I think. It was still pretty awesome to get, and it's still one of my favorite shirts um, of all time. And the final shirt, at least for now, um, it's an Assassin's Creed Revelations shirt that I got for Christmas um, the year Revelations came out. So Revelations came out November 11th, I think. No, it didn't come out November 11th, 2011. That doesn't make any sense. It was November something. November 15th, I think, of 2011, if I remember correctly. And um, that very same year, so like the next month was Christmas, and I got this shirt. So it's pretty freaking awesome. Um, Revelations, I think, is a very underrated game. Sure, the gameplay might have been a little repetitive just because it was in Brotherhood 2 and there weren't very many changes except the hook blade, which I loved. Um, then defense, I'm with pretty much everyone. It was meh. <laughs> but um, it was still it was still a great game. The story was one of the best in the entire series, and it's what kept me going. So this is the final shirt. Um, I think I'm gonna move on to my posters. Okay, so here we are in my lovely bedroom, and we're gonna start here for posters. This isn't exactly a poster, but it is my calendar for 2014. As you can see, that's the photo for February. Uh, I can show you a few of them here. Uh, March, that's Charles Vane. I get the traitor Benjamin Hortigold. That's That makes me feel great. But uh, still, he's a cool character, so I'm not complaining. And uh, there's Edward again. Uh, most of them are Edward. November is my sister's birthday. She gets Blackbeard, which is pretty cool. But anyway, there's my calendar. And uh, now we're going to move right over to the right and show you my Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag uh, embroidered flag. <laughs> um, it's still got some creases in it from the way they shipped it to me, but hopefully those will those will flatten out eventually. But uh, I love it. It's awesome. Pretty self-explanatory. I got it with my limited edition pre-order. My dog is under my bed. Sneaky! Get out of there! I was about to put my knee there. You're lucky I checked. But, uh, this is my other poster. I think it's called the Four Heroes poster. I got it on Amazon for like seven bucks. And it's not paper. It's made out of some, like, weird silk thing. But as you can see, it's got Altair, Ezio, Connor, and Edward on it. And it goes right above my bed because they're special to me. Yeah, and then we're gonna move straight on to the right. It's my Assassin's Creed 3 colonial embroidered flag. Um, there, there's my hat rack with my blacklist poster. <laughs> um, and uh, yeah, I also got this with my limited edition pre-order. Moving on, we have my Assassin's Creed Revelations poster, which a friend got for me uh, for Christmas a couple years, I think it was the year after I got my shirt. So I cherish it because it's an awesome poster. And then straight over here to the left is my kind of poster for Assassin's Creed 3. Um, I went into GameStop because I saw that they ha they still had the posters up and everything. I asked them, what do you do with the posters you have hung up outside when you're done with them? And he says, usually we give them away. I was like, do you have any left for Assassin's Creed 3? And he said, no. But instead, he went in the back and got me a box and folded it up and said, there, that's yours. And I was like, okay, awesome, thank you. 
So, yeah, this is my kind of poster box art thing. Yeah. Okay, so we're back from a little short break from apparel, and uh, we're here with uh, sweatshirts and hoodies and other types of apparel that aren't t-shirts. So this jacket, I ordered on Amazon and they said it was Desmond inspired, so it doesn't have the symbol on it or anywhere, anywhere or anything, but um, it's supposed to be Assassin's Creed themed related, so I figured I'd show it even though it's not exactly perfect. It has hair all over it because if you are a pet owner, you know you get hair on everything. If you have a dog, if you have a cat, I happen to have two dogs and a cat, so yeah, there's hair on everything, especially since this is black, it shows up like crazy. I don't know if it shows up on the camera, but it does have hair everywhere. But yeah, there's there's like pockets here, and it does have a hood that's a little small for my gigantic fat head. <laughs> but uh, it's a pretty awesome jacket, it's nice and soft on the inside, and it keeps you really warm. But you can like button this up too, if you wanted, if you were really cold. And uh, yeah, so it's supposed to be like a Desmond themed jacket, uh, so I figured I'd show it here. And here's the next hoodie. Uh, from here it just looks plain red, but if you look on the sleeves, they have hidden blade uh, work done on them. As you can see, this hoodie, this hoodie is pretty big. <laughs> but again, ordering clothes online, what can you do? And then if I zip it up, or maybe just don't zip it up, you can see right here, it has the assassin symbol on the chest, and it does have a gigantic hood. <laughs> If I adjust it, it should look fine. But I freaking love this hoodie. I wear it all the time. It also keeps me really warm, and it's bright red, and it has hidden blade things on it. Like, how is that not cool? So this is easily the favorite, my most favorite hoodie that I own. And here's another edition of Assassin's Creed apparel that is not a sweatshirt or a t-shirt. It is just a scarf. But if you pull the scarf up like this, it is also a beaked hoodie. And now this is another one of my favorite pieces of Assassin's Creed fan merchandise that I have. I got it on Etsy um, from a creator who made them. Um, it's extremely comfortable. It keeps your head really warm as well as your neck. Um, it's also quite stylish and lets you show off your fandom. Um, as you can see the scarf in the back. Um, and it's really awesome. I love this thing and I wear it all the time just for the heck of it. Yeah! So this is like my favorite hoodie ever, especially since it's beaked. I think this is the first beaked hood that you guys have seen, and um, it's freaking awesome. Now this is the big one. This is the one that cost me $130 on its own, uh, $160 actually if you count tax and shipping. Um, it's a Connor Kenway modernized jacket hoodie thing. Um, and you may have seen it if you've been with my channel since very early times. Um, you may have seen, I think it's vlog number 9, where I first showed off this jacket, and uh, I'm still getting comments to this day saying, you're wearing it wrong! I know. I know I was wearing it wrong. But I'm wearing it correctly now, and uh, as you can see, the hood in the back, if I can reach it, because it's a really big hood. <laughs> there we go. It's another beaked hood, and it's really, really, really big. <laughs> but it's freaking awesome at the same time, and uh, yeah. I wear this all the time, even still for cosplays. You may have seen me wearing it in some of the thumbnails I made for my Black Flag Let's Play. And, um, yeah, I, I wear this thing all the time. It's like my my go-to cosplay jacket for Assassin's Creed, and it's it's amazing. My limited edition pre-order stuff. Um, most of it's actually up here. For Assassin's Creed 3 limited ed edition, I have my George Washington's notebook here, my belt buckle. I have my Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag art book and belt buckle. I have my steelbook for Assassin's Creed 3 and a steelbook for Assassin's Creed 4, um, which I'll show you when I come back out. This was not part of my pre-order. It's a pirate uh, scimitar short sword. Um, it's not Black Flag related in any way, but I keep it up here because it's pirate related. And uh, what other stuff do I have? I guess I could show you these as well while I'm here. I have issue number one of Assassin's Creed The Fall, which I got for Christmas. I plan to get the other two issues soon. Where are you? Here we are. I got Assassin's Creed Forsaken. For Christmas as well by Oliver Bowden. And then there's these guys. My preciouses. My Edward statue, my Connor statue. You guys are fucking amazing and I love you so much. You guys sit next to each other and it's amazing. They're like one of the first things I see when I wake up in the morning because as you can see my bed is right here. Here's my steelbook. This is where all my games are. 
my games and my soundtrack are both in this. This is my steelbook, and it has Edward on the back, and it says, upside down, Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag. And on the inside, I think I may have disc 2 in my Xbox right now, because I was playing multiplayer uh, last night, yeah. Here's disc 1, which is single player, disc 2 is multiplayer, and it goes here. And this is my soundtrack. It's got a couple shanties on it and everything, and it's amazing. But yeah, this is actually the case for my games, so it's not up with my other steelbook, because it's got my games in it, and as you can see, like, all of my games are out here. <laughs> and now it is time to show you guys all of the props and replicas that I have for Assassin's Creed. Um, I've got two of them right here. You guys have already seen this one. Those of you who've been on my channel before, I should say, you've already seen this one. Um, it's my Assassin's Creed Brotherhood Ezio Auditore Hidden Blade replica. Um, I've had this for... quite a while! been over a year. Um, I got it, I think, with my limited edition pre-order of Assassin's Creed 3. It's pretty freaking awesome. You push this button, kaboom, it works just like that. And the next one is right here on my other arm. You may have caught a peek of it while I was hitting the button for this hidden blade. This is one you guys have not seen yet, um, because I only just recently got it into my, into my possession because I accidentally had it shipped to the wrong house and my mom couldn't bring it up to me until she visited, and that was last, about a month ago. So, Edward Kenway's Hidden Blade Replica. I also got this, no, I didn't get this with my pre-order, I ordered it just because I wanted one. <laughs> but there's his uh, Hidden Blade Replica. It looks just like this. Same thing as before you hit a button and I have it on safety, excuse me. There we go. I freaking love this Hidden Blade just because it looks so cool. Like I love the cuff right here and the way it looks on the outside plus the inside. It is extraordinarily intricate. Like, if you look on the blade, it's got, like, scratches and stuff like that on it. All of this does. And, like, the buttons on the outside look worn. And I just, I love this hidden blade. I love both of them. They're freaking amazing. And, uh, hold on. I need to get one of these. Yeah. Doesn't, doesn't work quite as well as it does in the Brotherhood picture. Because <laughs> they're kind of bulky. But, um, it's awesome, and I love being able to do this pose without actually having to Photoshop the Hidden Blades onto my arms. <laughs> I actually have them on my arms now, and it's it's amazing. So I love these Hidden Blades, and they're easily favorites of my collection. And now on to my next replica thing. Connor's Tomahawk from Assassin's Creed 3. I freaking love this Tomahawk. It is stainless steel. It is kind of sharp, but not really. This is sharper than the actual blade. Like, if I swung this hard enough at someone, I could definitely hurt somebody. Like, I could, if I if I wanted to. This is actually supposed to be up here, and you can see this is wood, um, and it's got the markings on it, and you see the handle with the buttons on it. It's a really well done replica, and I could not be happier with this. Now, this one is my latest piece of Assassin's Creed merchandise that I just got into my possession. I ordered this actually a few weeks ago, but again, I had it shipped to the wrong address and didn't realize until it was too late to change it because I'm stupid, blame the hair. So I had my mom bring it up with me when she visited over President's Day weekend. And it's not President's Day weekend yet. <laughs> she had it mailed up to me hoping that it would get here a week ago, but for whatever reason it didn't. Um, so now it's the day before she gets here, and I finally got it in the mail yesterday morning. And um, as you can see right here, it came with the hilt, that's what the belt is, and um, it's a replica of Altair's sword. Yes, it is real metal, yes, it is sharp at the tip and on the sides, and uh, yes, it is extraordinarily intricate. Like, look at that design work. This isn't, like, uh, this is just like a pattern. But, like, look at the hilt and this, and it's amazing, and I love it. Let me just back up a little bit, you can see, like, just how long it is. I love this sword. I've only had it for a day, and I love it. So I'm gonna start uh, making some fan art photos with it, and um, I just, I love this sword. It's, it's incredible. That's really all I can think to say about it right now, is I love this sword. It is pretty heavy, because it's actual metal, but I mean, it's not that heavy. Of course, every time I wield a sword now, I always think of, um, Sirio Pharrell from uh, Game of Thrones, Arya's dancing teacher. But, I mean, I've never had a sword replica except for my scimitar short sword, which is more of like a big knife. This is a sword, and I'm so happy. I need to think of a place to put it. I mean, besides on my hip, this is the hilt. It's actually, the hilt is pretty well made. It's just not 
very intricate. I mean, it's got like a real belt and everything, so it's not like it was made to look like Altair's hilt, but it works. I mean, it's a hilt and it holds the sword just fine, so I mean, I could carry less. What I'm really interested in is the sword, and the sword is amazing. So, I love this thing. Well, there you guys go. There was uh, my entire collection of Assassin's Creed fan merchandise, just including the games themselves. Of course, I do own all six, but that's a given. Um, this is definitely not the ending to my collection. So, once I order more stuff um, to make like an update video to show you all the other stuff I've gotten, believe me, it's gonna happen if you guys want it. So, I sincerely hope. Sincerely? I sincerely hope you guys enjoyed um, looking at all of my stuff, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Like and favorite if you did, subscribe if you want to see more, and I will see you in my next video. Farewell, friends. Today I caved and I, I decided to get Rockstar Game Capture HD Pro, which records in 1080p, and it makes live streaming straight from the console a crap ton more easier. So you're going to be getting HD videos, like HD, HD, like legitimate HD videos, and live streams on Twitch um, coming up real soon.